In this problem, we're going to evaluate this limit. So when evaluating limits, the first thing you should always try is to take this number here and plug it in for all of your x's. If you do that, you'll notice that on the bottom, you'll get 6 squared minus 36. So you get 36 minus 36. So you get 0 on the bottom, and that's no good. You can't have uh, 0 on the bottom of a fraction. So that will not work. So the next strategy to try in a problem like this is to attempt to factor it. So we write the limit sign, and x is approaching 6. And let's see if we can factor the bottom piece. Looks like it's the difference of squares. So that's x minus 6, x plus 6. And on the top, we have to figure out how to factor this. So let's write it like this. And I don't know how to do it yet, so let's think about it. We need two numbers that multiply to 48 and add to 2. Oh, okay, well, 6 times 8 is 48. So we'll put a 6 here and an 8 here. And they have to multiply to a negative 48, so one of them has to be negative. But they have to add to a positive 2. So I think that the 8 has to be positive and the 6 has to be negative. And let's check that. Let's see negative 6x, so it's the middle term, and the outside term is 8x. If you add the middle and the outside terms, you get 2x, which is what we want. So it works out okay. All right, oh, look at this. The x minus 6 is canceled. Very nice. So x approaches 6. I have not done this problem, so it's kind of, it's kind of fun to figure it out. So x plus 8 over x plus 6. Beautiful problem. Notice uh, I, I wrote the limit sign every single time, right? Really important to always write the limit sign until you actually take the limit. Very, very key. Now we're going to take the limit. We're going to plug in the number. That's what I mean by take the limit. So here we have 6 plus 8, so we're not writing the limit sign, over 6 plus 6. This is equal to 14 over 12, which is equal to 7 over 6. And that would be the final answer. That's it.